And Craig McTavish on the bench, they're not too happy about it. They're not backing down either, but obviously frustration's overflowing here. Now, had there not been a pane of plexiglass between that fan and Oilers coaches Craig McTavish and Charlie Huddy, it would not have been pretty because, as I'm sure you noticed, the guy who was beaking at Mac T had the physique of former Who's the Boss star Danny Pintaro. <laughs> Good thing the glass held up because, as you'll see at number three in our top ten, it doesn't always hold up. Ejected Manchester United striker Eric Cantona reacted to a fan's comments by launching a two foot martial arts style kick into the crowd. Foxes were then exchanged, and Cantona was suspended for nine months. Opposing fans always love to hate super fast Matthew Barnaby, and Barnaby loved giving it right back. But one time in Florida, Barnaby took it a bit too far, getting into a physical altercation with a 55 year old man, resulting in a four game suspension. After Missouri shocked Nebraska in college football, Cornhusker Kellen Houston makes short work of this overzealous Missouri fan. 21-year-old Matthew Scott required surgery for a broken nose. In an AHL game between Hershey and Manchester, Hershey's Kip Brennan got into a scrap with a Manchester fan. The fan was ejected and Brennan was suspended for the rest of the playoffs. June 29, 2005, with the Blue Jays playing in Tampa, a rowdy Devil Rays fan runs towards Jays first base coach Ernie Witt. Witt helps defuse the situation by grabbing the kid by the neck before security takes him away. Much to the delight of Jays players. I think you should have clotheslined him. So I just, you know, put my hand out and happened to go around his neck and he didn't move after that. The fan went right over the glass. Oh, no. They oh, got dear. all of them in the bench. Yeah, no big oh, 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 look at Rob Ray. All I know is that the guy on PSN said that he landed 15 strong ones before the, you know, before the uh, police arrived. So, uh, anyway, give the fan credit. He hung in there for 15 good ones anyway. Hey, honey, I went to the game last night and had my chest caved in. Things never turn out well for fans who make their way onto the football field. Just ask this drunken fan in Winnipeg. There's some kicking going on. Look at this. Carl Cole yeah. kid with three boots to the head. Number three. Now you It's nice to see the fans getting involved, I guess. And all the Bruins are going over. Jill Bear is in there, Peter McNabb. They're all into the stands. McNabb's going up to grab somebody. About seven or eight rows up. This melee at Madison Square Garden may be best remembered for Bruins defenseman Mike Milbury beating a Rangers fan with his own shoe. And who could forget the malice at the palace? Things escalated when a fan throws a cup at Ron Artest. Our test made his way back to the floor, where another fan was there to greet him. Jermaine O'Neal then mm -hmm. delivered the knockout blow, capping off an ugly night for the NBA. I'm just embarrassed for our league and I'm disappointed in, you know, being part of this.